Now is the time to grab your major template. Whether you want to follow along virtually on your computer or print it out and use a pen and paper is up to you. I'm going to do this virtually. So once you get this pulled up, this is the general four-year plan the materials department has laid out for you. In this video, we're going to talk through the general plan they've written for first semester and then talk about some different tweaks you may want to or need to make depending on your preferences and any credits you might have brought in. We'll also look a little further down the template just to see some other options we could potentially move up in our plan if we need to. And then we'll end with a sample schedule. So getting prepped for what classes we may want to take over to YAX to make a plan. So looking at this first semester, the general layout from the department is going to be Chemistry 1, Intro to Engineering Analysis, Calculus 1, Intro to Material Science, and one of your Haas classes. Now, let's take this class by class and talk about what you may need to think about. So first with Chemistry 1, if you do not already have credit for Chem 1, this is a non-negotiable. Chemistry 1 is going to be the prerequisite for material science, so you absolutely will want this in your first semester. If you already have credit for Chemistry 1, you could consider moving on to material science. Now, this is something I would give some thought because Material science is known to be a pretty tough class. I have had my students with chemistry credit come in, do material science in their first semester, and do pretty well, but I would not recommend doing this unless you feel very strong in your chemistry skills. Again, this class is pretty tough. Something to think about. Moving on to intro to engineering analysis, this class can absolutely be taken in your first semester. As you can see on the template, it's an option, there are no prerequisites, and you're welcome to do this. However, Intro to Engineering Analysis, or more commonly known as IEA, is basically applied engineering physics. At a lot of other colleges, this is called statics, and generally what we've seen in the hub is that if you don't already have Physics 1 college credit of some sort, it might be a tough class. So this is a ch chance where I would say, if you don't already have Physics 1 credit, I honestly would say move Physics 1 into the fall semester and then plan to take IEA in the spring. It won't cause any problems with sequencing for graduation, and it'll probably give you a better experience for IEA. Moving on. Calculus is probably the most straightforward in figuring out what you want to do. So if you don't have any math credits, go ahead and sign up for Calculus 1. If you have credit for Calculus 1, move on to Calculus 2. And if you have credit for both Calculus 1 and Calculus 2, you're going to want to take differential equations. This is one of those scenarios where by and large, students who take their credits and run with it tend to do well. So again, as long as you feel good about your math knowledge, whether you're getting out of one class or two, I have no concerns if you move to the next in the sequence. Then this one credit class, Intro to Material Science, is honestly a good amount of fun. It's your department's introduction to the major and different opportunities you'll have. This will be very low key and not a class that you would be stressed out about. And then the Haas video goes much more deeply into the pathways and how you might want to choose a Haas class for your first semester. But either way, I strongly recommend no matter what Haas class you pick, make sure you take a Haas this fall. Going straight from high school into a semester that is strictly STEM courses is very, very challenging. That Haas is going to give you some balance. So now that we've kind of broken down that first semester in the template, let's look to future semesters and see what also might be on the table here. So as mentioned before, some of these things out here, depending on your AP credit, could be an option. Physics 1 may very well be a good thing to move up if you don't already have that. And then as we go further down, you'll see some other things. So for example, there's this science elective here that could be an option for you. Um, the science elective is extremely broad. It is any four credit course in the College of Science that you don't already have to take for a different major requirement. To show you what can qualify, I'm going to open YAX. So basically under science here, anything in these departments. Some really popular options I would say are multivariable calculus or math 2010. Uh, also intro to biology is a big one. Uh, you could also use chemistry two credit, take computer science classes. So as you can see, this is definitely something we could consider putting in the fall semester if needed. 
Also, you'll see these free electives. There are three different slots for that. Those are courses that are totally up to you. They are there for fun. They do not have to relate to your major at all, or they could be even more classes within your major. So this could be something where if you had a bit of a funky idea coming in, like I want to be a business minor, great. Then maybe we can consider moving up a free elective and you could take a business class in your first semester. So how do we make sense of all these options, right? So this is going to be a quick example of how I help you put your plan together when you come into the hub and how you can prepare for getting everything ready to go into Yaks. So first I'm gonna turn on the editing software and for the sake of this example, let's pretend I have AP credit for Calculus 1 and Physics 1. If you have any credits, my recommendation is to just cross them out so that you know they're done. And then we'll take it from there. So the way I like to think about schedule planning is our primary classes. So the roughly 16 credits that if everything goes our way, this is what we want to take, and then backup classes. So if for some reason something is conflicting or full, we know that we have more options that we can move on to. So for the primary classes, I'm just going to flag them with green. So as I mentioned before, if you don't already have credit for Chemistry 1, to me that's a non-negotiable. You absolutely need to take Chemistry. So we're going to give that a little green. Then moving on to Intro to Engineering Analysis, in this test case, I already have credit for Physics 1. I have that background, so I should be pretty comfortable, so I'm going to make that a primary class as well. We'll definitely want to throw in the fun introductory class from the department, so we'll flag that, and we want a Haas for sure. So as of now, I've got 13 credits in my primary plan, so let's move into the next semester to grab the last bit. As I said, I absolutely want you to take a math class in your first semester, just because we don't want to forget anything we learned in high school. So in this case, I'm going to grab Calc 2. So all this looks good. I've got my primary plan, and I can absolutely go ahead and plug that into YAX. However, one thing I'll say is that Chemistry 1 can be challenging to schedule around just because it has a lot of lab time and things like that. But as I said, that one's non-negotiable. We have to plan around that. So let's use blue to grab a couple different options that we can use if chemistry is giving us some scheduling snafus with other classes. So technically we could double up on Haas. I don't love that option because it's nice to spread them out. But again, I like putting down every possible option. So we'll flag that. Then moving on into this next semester, as I see, I already have credit for Physics 1, so I could theoretically do Physics 2. And then moving on from there, as I already mentioned, the Science Elective is definitely something that could be moved up depending on what options you're looking at. And then Free Electives are always on the table. So again, as I go into YAKS, my original plan is going to be putting in the five courses flagged in green. And then during registration, if I find that once I've registered for chem chemistry, none of the IEA sections are fitting my schedule, no sweat. Then we can look at maybe putting in physics two, a science elective, a Haas, or a free elective. As always, I highly recommend reaching out to me if you have any questions or concerns, but this will give you a good sense of how to move forward in planning.